beautiful day. Hi everyone, my name is Abby here at Safe Peace with Superpower. So, um, today as I was doing uh, B-School with the kids, uh, or some of the kids that come here, uh, the mum asked me, oh, do you have any video of how to end all the frame? And I was like, ah, uh, uh, yeah, but no. Uh, so, decided I'm going to make a, you know, a video on how to end all your frame. Uh, obviously, there's no bees in there. Bees are there, 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 and at the front. Um, I'm wearing bright pink, so I guess they're gonna get attracted to me. <laughs> but yeah, let's go uh, straight away to how to end all your frame, and you know, that's it. All right, basically, when you ow. So um, when you open, you open your box, you have your bees here, you obviously have your veil and everything on. Um, the way for you to actually remove the frames is from the sides. And what you want to try not to do is to move and buck your frames like that. As soon as you have it like that and you hold it on each side, people likely to you know, normally like to hold the frame this way. This is obviously not safe, uh, not only for the bees, but also for yourself. So you, what you want to do is actually grab it. And when you grab it, you have a hold of it on either side, like this. That's held. What you do is that you check on your bees. So I see a lot of new beekeepers when they hold the frame, they are like this. The best way to do it is actually held handling it a little bit in an angle to be able to have the direct sunlight hitting the frames and seeing what's inside of your cells. Uh, because if you're putting it like that and the sun is not you know, directly hitting in the, 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 the cells, you can't really see what's happening inside of the cells. Um, yeah, so you have it like that, you're holding it like that, you're always careful, you know, if you have bare hands like I often do. You, you, you don't want to go all over the frame when there's a lot of bees because you're going to get accidentally stung and that's really unnecessary. Um, yeah, so you have it like that. Now you have check on this side, then you want to check on the other side. What you want to do is, whoops, sorry. What you want to do is twist it like that. So basically you have it like that, you take it and you turn it around. Really it's like beekeeping for dummies or beekeeping. You know, it's great. Well, I mean, there's not enough of that. <laughs> okay, so you take your frame and you twist it like that and then you can see on this side now bear in mind if you have any foundation it's you know okay to slowly do it um any wax foundation plastic foundation or either like the whole plastic frame you know as long as you go very gently like this everything is fine but when you have uh, only the starter strip meaning like no full foundation on your frame and you have the starter of the wax comb being built like that because they haven't finished to build up the whole frame. You, you can't just flick your frame like this because it's likely to just pull like that. It, even beekeepers that have done that for a long time sometimes forget about it that the weight of the honey is going to pull down on the frame, meaning that you can't just flick it as hard as this. There, take it like that, and I'm gonna do a slow motion right now. And no, no, go away. Take it like that, and you slowly go to it. And then you put it on an angle, and you can see what's happening in the cell. That's it, the end. Now, another thing that I realize a lot of uh, new beekeepers do is that um, when they're gonna go and put the frame back inside of uh, the hive. They tend to hold it like that, so you know they've been holding it the whole time, properly under here, and they they want to put it back, but they're putting it back here. And what often happens is that either your fingers or your glove get caught under here, meaning that you bang the frame. And if you bang the frame, we 
hit the bees on it, you exactly know what's going to happen. The bees going to get agitated and they're going to come for you. So what you want to do is that instead of you know putting it back like this, it's going to you're going to slowly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I brought the bees away. Nice. Um, you're going to slowly instead of putting it in like that, you're going to move your fr your fingers on the top of the frame, and you're going to slowly direct it and drive it into the box. That's it. So you need to do. Simple.